Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add shake effect to your video, image, and text using Filmora 10. So you know that we are now at uh, Filmora 10.5 and uh, Wondershare just uh, moved the shake effect to different location in the in the software. So you uh, maybe some of you may find it difficult to find that uh, effect in the program. By the way, I'm going to show you how to, to use it. Uh, in this tutorial okay uh, so here I am inside Filmora 10.5 and uh, firstly I will show you how to uh, add shake effect to your video and for video I'm going to use a, a sample video here uh, for example I'm going to use this one just drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline so this is a normal video without shake effect okay and that is beautiful right and now if you want to add shake effect to your video uh, first up, you need to go to the effect tab here. You know, just click on that and now you need to find a filter folder Okay, so you're right inside here and you see here. This is a, the filters. Uh, so we have uh, 160 different filter for uh, For the effect inside the program you can use and here's the, the subfolder shake so they still have uh, eight different uh, type of shake you can add any to your video by drag and drop uh, them to your video uh, you can drag for example if you want to use this one up down to uh, you want to use this one you can uh, just click on that and you have the preview here okay and if you want to use this one you can drag and drop it directly to your video okay so this is the first way to use shake effect for your video and now we have the shake effect here very nice right and uh, the second way okay so let's delete this one delete this effect first and the second way you can put the, this shake effect at the top track so you have this is a video track at the bottom bottom track and now you can put the shake effect here on the top track uh, it will do the same so it, it will create a shake effect for your video like this okay and if you want to control the frequency uh, frequency of the shake effect you can double click at the the effect tab here and now we have the effect here and then you can enable the rgb separate and frequency here with this, this slider or stuff like that and you can also adjust the position or stuff like that here okay so it's up to you you can control all the parameter here okay and click ok so now i'm going to delete this one and if you want to drag and drop it directly to your video and you want to control the shake effect you can change uh, change it by double click uh, at the video and now you need to find the video here and you see here at the video effect you have here rgb separate and frequency and stuff like that you can adjust the parameter here okay so that is basically how you can add shake effect to your video and control the parameter inside it okay uh, what about the image there for the image you can do the same so for the image uh, I'm going back to my folder here and uh, I'm going to use this one for example this is a sample image uh, okay so no shake effect just uh, just a zoom and pan effect uh, it, this is a default zoom and pan effect in Filmora 10 so if I want to get rid of that uh, zoom and pan I can right click and then I can uh, select crop to fit for my image so now it will, uh, will not have uh, zoom and pan effect okay uh, for this one that is the image now I want to add a shake effect to my image so I do the same go to the video effect here the effect tab here and find the filter and go to shake and now I'm going to drag and drop this one for example just drag and drop it directly to my image okay and it will be like this okay so that is the first way and the second way we can delete this one and we can uh, put the shake effect here on top of our, my image and also shorten the effect okay like this uh, so uh, if we put the the effect on the top track like this we only have a, a small part of my image shake okay so let's preview it that is nice right and finally, if you want to add shake effect to your text, uh, it also uh, very easy. It is also very easy. Go to the title, and now you need to find the title. You can uh, select any title here. Uh, by the way, 
I'm going to select a default title so let's search default title okay default and enter uh, okay so now we have the default title here so let's try and drop it here and put it on the timeline and we can change it to check okay and we can change the title to check text okay so this is the first way and if you want to to add some uh, some motion effect to your video uh, to your text you can uh, go here to the animation tab here and then maybe you can add a typewriter or stuff like that here but just for your information okay uh, but for this for this example I want to add shake effect to my my text uh, so what I'm going to do is to click OK and I'm going to take a screenshot of this one so firstly go back to my media here and then take a screenshot of this text uh, to create an image uh, so by doing that we can we can do the same we can add the shake effect to to my image uh, to my text instead of instead of a text uh, okay so this is a text and I'm going to do the same I'll go to effect here and find a filter and go to shake and now I can add up and down directly to my text here okay and it will be like this all right so that is very easy right so that is how you can add shake effect to your video image and text inside Fimora 10.5 and if you are at Filmora 9 or Filmora 10.3.4 stuff like that you, you can upgrade to this uh, latest version of Filmora to get the uh, all this uh, impressive uh, AI portrait and AI sticker and audio effect and and some other other interesting feature okay link in the description thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye